one is Leszek Nowotrowski from Leno Music and today I'm going to choose my future mouthpiece for baritone saxophone. I just bought my the very first baritone in my entire saxophone career. This is not so sophisticated horn, it's Jupiter, rather student model, but so far I'm not able to afford any better. And the mouthpieces I'm going to choose, there are seven. The first is the kit one which came with the saxophone. The other is Barry. The other one is Drake. The next one is Jody Jazz Model Jet. Next one is ECM. So it's going to be number five. Number six is going to be Van Doren V16. This is number six. And number seven is Blirhard Ebonit. So now let's hear them all. So this is the first one which came with the saxophone. This is the kit mouthpiece and it sounds like this. <laughs> I think the read is a little bit too soft for me, but this is the only one I have, so um, probably it sounds good, but as I mentioned, this is the kit one, and I want to replace it with these monkeys which I received from the store. So the second one is going to be Barry. Barry tip opening is 100. So I will test it with Rovner leather ligature and it sounds like this. <laughs> Sorry for mistakes, but this is my very first contact at all with baritone saxophone. That's why I make so many mistakes. But this one sounds good. It's it has this lower end which sounds quite nice. Now it's time for Drake mouthpiece. Drake has its own ligature, this plastic one. And let's see how it sounds. <laughs> It's too squeaky for me. Four. Number four is Jody Jazz model Jet. I will be also testing this with leather ligature because I don't want to make any scratches because eventually I need to return it back to store. And it sounds like this Jody Jazz model Jet. <laughs> For sure, this is not mouthpiece for me. Actually, I've never heard before about this company. I need the original ligature for that. And this is ECM. Any signature? No, just ECM. And I'm going to screw this with the reed. ECM sounds like this. Mm 
This one also is very easy to play, but the sound is a little bit muted for me. It's, it doesn't have this, this uh, open high frequencies. Van Doren, B5, the tip opening is B5, model is V16. So this is V16 for baritone and saxophone and it sounds like this. <laughs> This one is easiest to play, easiest to blow, so this is one of my favorites so far. Brill Heart Special. And the signature, it only says Ebonit. Brill Heart Ebonit sounds like this. <laughs> And it sounds like more classical music. I'm not going to play that kind of music. So probably I won't choose this one, but this one is also easy to blow, easy to play. So if you need easy presentation, this one is, I think the easiest one to play, but also the most quiet one. So that was Brillhart Ebonita. So choosing from these seven mouthpieces, I choose for now, I choose three of them. So, yeah, ECM. Um, uh, also, Barry, it was number two. And also, Van Doren. So now I'm going to practice a little bit on these three mouthpieces. So now I will do the cut and finally, eventually, I will tell you which one I've chosen. Okay, so we're after the cut. I've practiced about an hour on these three mount pieces and my choice is Barry. Barry, this one is not so easy to play as the Van Doren V16, but it sounds for me the best. It has this sweet lower and bottom part of the saxophone sounds really really nice so this is it's going to my my future mouthpiece and probably you will hear lots of recordings done on this mouthpiece and once again it sounds like this <laughs> sounds here great even though this is trust me really cheap horn it's student model of Ubir and lower end sounds like this This is all folks for today, if you like it, please give it a thumb up, subscribe my channel so nothing will miss you in the future on my channel and thank you very much for watching, see you next time, Leszek Nowotarski, Lena Music, goodbye!